Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where we're going to take a look at a new program by the Cisco Talos Group called MBR Filter. This program is a Windows driver, a disk filter driver that will silently listen in the background for requests to modify the master boot record. And when it detects that something is trying to modify it, it will block it and display an alert. So, uh, we're going to show you how to install it. Basically, you click on the releases pages, you download the 32-bit or 64-bit version, and, and extract the file that you download. Once you extract it, you'll notice that there are two files listed inside the folder. One is MBR filter sys, and the other one is mbrfilter.inf. You right-click on the inf file, you select install, and then um, it will install the driver and then prompt you to reboot the computer. Once the computer is rebooted, the driver will be installed, active, and blocking programs from accessing and modifying the MBR. So now I'm gonna let the computer reboot, pause, and get back to the screen. So now that we're back at the desktop, as you can see, we have three ransomware infections that um, modify the master boot record. Um, we're gonna test each one, see how they work with MBR filter, and if MBR filter is able to block them successfully. The first one we're going to look at is a program called Satana. And um, this one, uh, just like Petya, will uh, modify the master boot record and en encrypt um, various data on the hard drive. So we've executed it. We're going to let it run. And uh, we're going to see what happens. Getting the UAC prompt. And we got our message from MBR filter. It was successfully able to block the ransomware from encrypting or modifying, I should say, the, the uh, master boot record. So now we're going to run Petya. Once again, MBR filter was able to block it, which is good. And now we're going to do the last one. Now this last ransomware is the Petya Misha combo. So basically how it works is when you launch it and you get an USC prompt, if you say no to that prompt, it will then install Misha. Otherwise, it will do Petya. So let's give the Petya Misha combo a try. So we're going to launch it. We're going to say yes to the USC prompt so that it will try to encrypt the master boot record and see what happens. All right, so uh, it crashed. So it, it didn't show the MBR filter error message, but it did crash the program, which I'll take that as a win, because as long as it stops the master boot record from being encrypted, we're in good shape. So now we're going to give it another try. We're going to try it this time, and we're going to say no to the UAC prompt and see what happens here. Now, I'm going to speed this up because uh, it could take a while for the encryption to start. So now we let it run for a little while. I'm going to open up the sample pictures folder and see if anything has been encrypted. All right, so um, Misha did run, um, and it makes sense because it wasn't trying to access the master boot record at this time, so therefore it became, it became a standard file encrypting ransomware and was allowed to execute. So this shows us that, yes, MBR filter works um, for what it's designed to do, but it may be possible for certain types of ransomware like this Petya Misha combo to detect when MBR filter blocks the MBR and then switch over to a file encrypting ransomware as well. So as you can see here, uh, we are encrypted by Misha. Uh, here's a ransom note. So um, MBR filter is definitely a, a interesting program, uh, definitely something that may be worthwhile using. Um, is it gonna block all ransomware? No. Will it block MBR encrypting ransomware? Yes. Could it potentially be defeated by detecting, by, by switching to a file encrypting ransomware when the MBR was not able to be accessed. Well, I, I, that I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video.